Finding the right manufactured home community in Florida can depend on your preference for the location, amenities, and the type of lifestyle you're looking for. And some manufactured home communities allow pets, some don't, some maybe just an indoor cat that's neutered. Some will be close to the beach or maybe the theme parks for when your grandkids come by and you want to take a quick trip over to Disney or Universal Studios. Your home can be located within minutes of those theme parks. Now, I have on my YouTube channel several manufactured home parks that I've done in the greater Daytona Beach area. So in this video, I will not be covering any of those. Here is a summary of some notable communities throughout beautiful Florida. Our first stop will be Lake Highlander Mobile Home Park. As you can see, it's right here. And let me zoom out. You can tell then it is in the greater Tampa area. There's Tampa, and it's about a 30-minute drive from Tampa. But look at this. The beauty of it is you are so close to the beach, and then your theme parks would be up here a little bit. So you're a little farther from the theme parks. Maybe that's not even your thing at all. But you're really close to the beach. You're in beautiful Tampa. You're a little farther. You're about a little farther past Central Florida. Give you overall perspective of it. And like I said, it is a manufactured home park. It is a 55 plus community and most of them in Florida are. And there's some advantages to living in a 55 plus. It doesn't mean your kids or grandkids can never come and stay with you. Oftentimes, and they'll let you know right up front, if you have some small children that want to stay with you, Maybe it's something like they can stay no more than 15 consecutive days. That way they're not like living with you for the summer or year round or anything. But they can come and they can, you know, stay for a couple of weeks if that's what you want. Nice thing about this is they have teams and leagues of golf and bowling. They also have a lot of the other amenities that you'll see in several of these communities. They really tend to focus on an active lifestyle. A lifestyle where you can feel involved and have some, make some friends and you're not alone. Oftentimes as we get older, we end up, uh, our spouses pass on and maybe our kids are grown living their own lives. And it's just great to know you still have a community when you want to go and be with a community. Another nice thing about this park is resident owned. And what that means is everybody owns a little bit of everything. As a resident-owned property, you own part of the land, you own part of the common areas, part of the social room, the pool, and so does everyone else. Oftentimes, this is more preferred. The HOA, it will be called an HOA fee instead of land lease or lot rent. And many like that and it's because it could be good for resale value. You have a little pride of ownership. You have more to say in community matters. If you have a manufactured home and it's on a lot that you're paying rent, in other words, one person owns the whole park and everybody just pays lot rent, that's it. You really have no control over anything. And maybe that's okay with you. Maybe you don't want to worry if the funds weren't properly taken care of and now the pool needs relined and everyone's got to pony up an assessment fee. Or a hurricane comes through and knocks out a bunch of trees and everybody has to, again, you know, contribute to having the trees cleaned up. Where if you're paying lot rent, you don't have to worry about that. So you can be resident owned, which would be like an HOA. And you can kind of look at it like a townhomes. They are normally, they have an HOA. Condos will have condo fees or it's like an HOA. Or you can rent the land. And then you just have a lot less responsibility. But oftentimes those are a little more pricier and you have zero control over how much is going to keep going up. I think all of them have some pros and cons. But there is one other option you can do. You'll just pay a lot more up front is you can buy the land the manufacturer home is already on. This park also has about close to three, 300 homes right here. 293 homes. It seems like a really nice park. And let's check out some of the prices of the homes. There you go. So 
up and sold. The least expensive, what's around 95000 I found the lot rent earlier. Yeah, as of this recording, it's saying it's $240 a month. And that includes water, sewer, trash, and lawn service. You have to be 55. Oh, they even have their credit score. Yeah, these websites will provide you with a lot of information. Okay, on to our next park. The next one on my list is Emerald Lake. Another beautiful looking community. Home prices seem to be about the same as the last one. A lot of them are going to be obviously based if it's a single wide, a double wide. And of course, the location, how desirable it is or not. You can see all their activities. This one also is right below Tampa. So it will be a little further south. Every time I hear that, I'm like, means it'll be a little warmer. Hot outside. I know many, many people, they're not bothered by the heat and everything. And that's that's great because a lot of people live down south. They absolutely love it. It is a little more brighter, purer, sparklier, a little more expensive. I feel the farther south you go, the little pricier it gets, even though it's heat, more heat or whatever. But it, uh, sometimes you can still find a great deal as long as it's somewhere where you want to live. And maybe you're retiring or just relocating to Florida. It's just really important you find a place that you're happy with. Okay, so again, this one is a 55 plus community, has tons of amenities and reasonable prices, it looks like once again. Oh, looks absolutely splendid. What a nice place to just retire. Of course, if it was me moving to one of these, I would definitely personally go visit it, visit the location, feel how warm it is, get a sense of the community. Most of these, I can honestly tell you, are going to be really friendly. It's going to be people just like you. See how well it's taken care of and talk to some of the neighbors and see, see how they're handling everything. Also, I would definitely encourage looking at the financials to see if they do have a reserve in case a hurricane does come through, if you're going to get hit real bad with a special assessment, or do they have enough funds that could cover a small hit? Okay, on to our next one. It is called Dogwood Acres right here. You can see, and that's a little more right in the middle of Florida. So you're not going to be as close to the beaches. You've got to be close to the villages. Another very, very popular spot here in Florida, especially for retirement. It's a huge community. Somewhat close to the theme parks, though. And there's some more theme parks over here. You got Disney and, like I said, Universal, SeaWorld. Over in Tampa, you have Bush Gardens. This has about 130 lots. So it is a little bit smaller of a community. which is sometimes nice as well. It might be less to have to keep up with and less chance of a crazy neighbor maybe. Instead of 300, you only have 130. Again, you, if you do have a small pet, I did notice on many of these websites, they many of them, for, I was very surprised, do not allow dogs, even like a certain size or breed restriction. But most would allow an indoor cat because there's, you know, it's indoors, I guess. All right, our next one is Little Manatee. It runs along the Little Manatee River. So that's a nice plus. You'd be right there on the water for those maybe like to go fishing or kind of just look at. It's so pretty. Just even sit there and look at the water sometimes, right? Also in the Tampa area, these are very popular spot in Florida to retire over on the West Coast. Well, anywhere, even in the East Coast, up in Central Florida where I live is absolutely gorgeous. Nice thing about this community, it does feature a private dock here in Ramp. So if you do have a boat, I suppose you could 
you know, launch it from there. Maybe you have a little fishing boat or little canoe or even or something. Just it makes an awful lot of fun if you like going out on the water. It's an optimal park park. Obviously, this one's okay with pets. Wow, this is really, I think it's, I like being by the water. I think it's really, really pretty. And 55 plus community. And they have lots of activities, plus a boat ramp, which is really nice. On-site laundry, in case you happen to purchase a place that doesn't have a laundry inside. Okay, the next one is Cedar Cove Manufactured Homes. This one's even a little farther south of Tampa. Again, right on the water, absolutely gorgeous. Live the Florida lifestyle. One of my little taglines I like to use. Wow, Crescent Beach, Siesta Key. This is really sounding nice. Okay, there's an overall. Look at that, how close you are to if you like to enjoy fishing. There's the beach. Let's see what the lot rent. 2024, the lot rent's 590. There you go. I mean, really considering the location. I think that's pretty nice. And then you get some amenities. Cool shuffleboard, Wi Fi library, resident shed, get the lawn cut. I mean, it sounds like a really nice place. And it's been established since 1981. They probably have quite a bit, you know, worked out. So it's even nicer. I just really think this one, the location, being so close to the water is really ideal for those that like that. So pretty. Okay, moving right along. It's next is Colony Cove Mobile Home Park. A little more inland on this one. It looks like you're going to be north of Tampa. Fernando, here we are, Daytona Beach. 55 plus senior waterfront home mobile. Home. Our waterfront mobile home park. Wow, that looks so nice. They really make it look so nice. And truth be told, when I drive around these, they are really nice. I mean, it's just really an affordable way to move to Florida. Instead of being house poor or something, put all your money in here. Or maybe it's a, not all your money, but some of your money, and then you have a lot left over. Or make it your vacation summer home. Look at that. They even said it right there. Yeah, this one, clubhouse in 288 homes. You even get RV storage, docks, boat. This is sounding really nice as well. Let's see. Uh, homes for sale. Let's see how much they're going for. They do look a little bit older, but you're probably going to get it at a much better price, and it's probably been updated. They're not, you might not have any for sale, but to give you kind of style, I mean, get a carport, a little shed or a patio, possibly a shed behind it. Near the pool, too bad, too bad. Welcome to West Wind Village. Pool, parties, golf, bowling, library, game room. Wow. Looks lovely. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. It's coming up. Oh, oh line dancing. <laughs> Remember doing that? Yes. I need to retire one of these so I can get more active. And West Wind Mobile Home Park is right up here on the water. Absolutely gorgeous in the greater Tampa Bay area once again. A reedy Palm Valley Mobile Home Park is right there. And this one is a little closer, as you can see, to the East Coast, a little, there's Daytona Beach, Fernando, a little bit closer to the theme parks. And then for those of you that like to go to the theme parks or play tennis, hiking, fishing, this may be the place for you. Miniature golf. And let's see what the prices are. 
Now these may be a little newer as they do look a little newer. That's why the prices are a lot higher. So maybe that's just something you don't have to worry about. You won't have to worry about for a while is maybe redoing the roof or things like that with the newer one. Wow, those look really, really nice. So you're going to pay for it, but some of you, that would be fine. Me personally, I probably would do that. I'd probably get a newer one, just be done with it. I don't want to have to worry about the roof leaking or having a kitchen where the cupboards are falling apart. And some, maybe, you know, that's perfectly fine with you. you you're a little, you can do a little handiwork. You don't mind updating things. And even sometimes the older ones do come a remodel because they just had to update the kitchen cabinets over the years. Buttonwood Village, another 55 plus lifestyle community, fairly close to the water. In Tampa, Fort Myers, real close to Cape Coral, a lot closer to the Keys if you like going to Florida Keys. Snowbird, it's your turn. Now the fun begins. This is nice too. All of these, I did a little research and I mean, there's just a ton of them. Like I said, there's even a bunch right here in the greater Daytona Beach area. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's a matter of preference. What is the location? First off, you really need to know what part of Florida, West Coast, East Coast, South, Central. And there just seems to be a lot more farther south. I guess it's just more popular down there. Now this part, look at that. You can get a fairly good price. The homes do look a little bit older. 2016. All right, well, they're not that old. Yep, so if you're into fishing or boating, this may be a good spot for you as well. Now, the nice thing about manufactured homes are they are convenient. They have normally updated latest, greatest amenities, social activities, and provide an overall sense of community living. Now, each of the communities I just went over offers something unique, whether it's the location, a unique view, amenities, or a specific lifestyle. Be sure to consider what's most important to you in your retirement or your relocation to Florida. And if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask. Comment below if there's a particular video you would like to see. Till next time.